One of the best things about traveling is you come across cocktails that you've never tasted before, and then you get home and you figure out how to make it, and you realize, man, that's a good cocktail. So today, I am going to show you how to make a dark and stormy cocktail. This one's for you if you like ginger beer and you like your dark rum, and it could not be easier. So if that's your kind of thing, easy cocktails and easy recipes, then please go ahead and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell because I come out with a new video every Friday and that way you will be notified. Welcome to the Spicy Apron. I am here to show you the easiest way to get the best results in your kitchen. And I've been doing it more than 25 years and I've written a couple of cookbooks and I also am the author of thespicyapron.com. So let's get to that dark and stormy. This is a really simple cocktail, but oh my God, it is packed with flavor. So I'm gonna give you just a little tiny brief history. This cocktail is sort of the unofficial drink of Bermuda. And we went to Bermuda a few years ago and had never even heard of a dark and stormy. And we're looking around at the bar and every single person had a dark and stormy. So of course we had to try it. And now we know why everybody was drinking it. It's a really simple cocktail. It's got ginger beer. And you know what, don't you love it when you send your husband out to get the ingredients and he gets this really cool like cock and bowl ginger beer? and they got the really awesome dark rum. Back to the cocktail. You just grab a glass and you're gonna put some ice in it, but let's talk about ice for just a minute. So with ice, you've got your traditional, this comes out of your freezer kind of ice, which works really well to cool your drink down, but you also can choose to make these huge ice blocks. Now, what's important to note about the difference between the two, and it really is a personal preference, these smaller ice cubes will actually cool your drink down faster, but the big ice cubes will not water down your drink and they will stay big longer. So your drink will not be watery, but it will keep it a nice cold temperature. It is completely up to you which ones you wanna use. I tend to like the big ones because I do not like my cocktails watered down. Now, I'm curious with the ice cube battle, which of you would prefer to cool down your drink faster but get a little bit more watery drink? Or would you prefer to use the big ice cubes uh, and have it melt slower and not water your drink down? Put that in the comment below. Big ice cube, oh, big ice cube, little ice cube. I am curious where you guys are gonna stand on this. So grab a couple of these ice cubes and throw them in your glass. Okay, so glass is full of ice. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is get your ginger beer. Now this beer, again, this is 12 ounces. You're gonna use a little less than half of this for one drink. So if you're making two, it's just about the right amount for two cocktails. Open that sucker up. Now, ginger beer is actually beer that has ginger in it. Okay, so I'm not talking ginger ale, I am talking ginger beer with alcohol. So this cocktail is not exactly for those who can't handle their alcohol. All right, so pour your ginger beer. Again, you wanna use about four or five ounces, which is a little less than half of this can. Now we're gonna top it off with some dark rum, again, Dark and Stormy is the name, so you wanna use dark rum. Apparently some sailor came into Bermuda and he had one of these drinks and it reminded him of the dark and stormy skies outside of Bermuda. All right, so take your rum. Now this is an ounce and a half jigger. Um, usually I use two ounces, but you know, you can do what you want. And you, and you slowly Pour it in and, in and what is it guys with me and alcohol? I spill it everywhere. Okay, so you pour it in and look, look at that drink. Look at how beautiful that drink is. You see the dark rum on top, the ginger beer uh, is, is on the bottom. It is just a beautiful, beautiful drink. And that's it guys, except don't forget your garnish, a lime. It's the perfect garnish, so go ahead, you're gonna squeeze that lime just a little bit for a little bite on top. 
put it on the edge of your glass, and there you have it, the dark and stormy. That is it, easiest cocktail ever. Super refreshing, very flavorful. All right, you know what's coming next. I gotta give it a taste. Mm. Wow, the bite of that ginger beer, the smoothness, the caramel in that rum, unbelievable. This is a drink, easiest thing to make, and super impressive. So if you have some guests over and you wanna make them something pretty cool, I would say try a dark and stormy. And I also wanna show you, here is my ice tray, and I use it all the time. Uh, if you're interested in getting one of these, I will put a link to it below. And if you're looking for a fabulous dinner to go with this beautiful cocktail, then go ahead and check out my sous vide chicken breast. Easiest thing ever and the tastiest chicken breast you will ever have. And if you found this video helpful in introducing you to a new cocktail, something a little bit different, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe so you will get all of my cocktail recipes as soon as they come out. Thank you for watching this Spicy Apron Cooking Show. I will see you next time, but until then, happy drinking.